Hey guys, welcome back to Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a little sweet surprise called mascarpone stuffed dates. They're amazing, they're bite sized, they're great for you know parties if you're having dinner party, if you're having guests over, if you just want to serve something sweet, but not make a full on dessert. Um, they're really easy to make. You can get this recipe written out, all the ingredients, at my website www.ddmed.com. Go there, join my social network, it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of people there, you can get involved and just talk about Mediterranean cooking all day long. So, I'm going to show you what we need to put this together and then put it together really quickly. There's pretty much just four ingredients that you need. You need the mesjul dates. They're nice and big size dates, that's why I like using them. They're really sweet and really juicy. I have uh, mascarpone cheese, toasted coconuts, and toasted pecans. If you don't like pecans, you can use walnuts or pistachios, or whatever kind of nuts you like. We're going to start off by mixing the mascarpone cheese with a little bit of pecan and the toasted coconuts. I like using mascarpone because it's it's really like a buttery cream cheese. It's very buttery. The flavor is so smooth. I love it. So we're going to add the toasted coconuts. I like using toasted coconuts um, because they add a little bit of a, a nuttiness and just a little bit of pecans. I'm going to mix this all up. And we're just going to put it in, um, I'm going to put it in a plastic bag. If you have a piping bag, it would be great to use a piping bag. It's a lot easier, but I know not a lot of you guys, you know, don't use it readily. So that's why I'm going to be using, show you how to use a plastic bag and be able to do the same thing. So see, just like that, it's all nice and mixed up. Next, we're going to put this aside and get our dates. And I want to cut out the pit. It's really easy, just cut it down the middle. And the pit is big, so it's very easy to find. And just remove the pit, just like that. You have a nice little space. So I'm going to do that with a couple of these. Cut it down the middle, open it up, remove the pit. Really easy to do. It's, I'm telling you, this dessert is so easy to assemble. And I'm not adding any sugar to the mascarpone because the dates are very sweet. So you don't want to have an overwhelming sweetness um, so that, you know, it's unbearable. I know sometimes like chocolate cake or, you know, certain desserts get too sweet. And I'm trying to avoid that with this one. So I'm just going to do this with a couple more of these. And then I'm going to pipe. I'm going to show you how to pipe this up. Let's move this to the side. I'm going to get just a regular bag, a zip up bag, open it up, and we're going to add this to it. Oops, it's a little bit messy. If you have a piping bag, it's really easy. Just like that. Give my hands a rinse. You want to move everything to the corner. And then we're going to cut a little bit of hole in the corner with our scissors. Just a little one, not too big, otherwise too much will come out. So just like that. Now we're going to get our dates. Let me move these out of the way for you. I want you to see this. And we're going to fill them. Just like that. See? Just like that. You can refrigerate these after so that the mascarpone can harden a little. It's a lot like cream cheese in a sense where if you refrigerate it, it does get more firm. These are really pretty. Really easy to make, I tell you. And if you can get the Miss Jewel dates, they are amazing. What you can do, you can either leave them like this, or you can get the rest of the pistachio, I'm sorry, not pistachio, well you can use pistachios, but the pecan mixture, and just 
slightly roll them in like that. I'm going to do that with, a, with some of these. See? What you can do if you want, you can get these nice little personalized serving dishes and you can put one in here like that. You can set them around the table if you want. You can add a nice sprig of mint next to it. It looks really pretty like that. Or if you'd like, you can get a nice plate and you can like alternate them like that. Alternate the date. You can put a, a sprig of mint in the middle just to make it colorful. Just like that. And there you go. It's a quick, easy dessert. It's so fast. It takes practically no time. If you made a full on dinner and you don't feel like making a big cake or a cheesecake or whatever kind of you know dessert, it's so easy to put together. You can serve it with coffee afterwards. Try it. Let me know what you think. And join me again for Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen.